Greetings and welcome back to Project Zomboid Risen Dead Season 2, a custom sandbox with no mods using the latest beta build. And as always, if you'd like to see this series continue, just uh, leave a like or comment down below because I only know what videos you're interested in by your feedback. So I think I've decided I want to uh, keep looking at some other uh, houses and find a place that I'd like to use as a base. I tend to prefer two stories because that does give me some options to escape if a larger group heads towards my house. Uh, I can let them start coming in and then escape out a window where it seems clear. Um, And let's see, I don't think we're going to have any two stories close along here. Now I do know, let me get out the map. I do know if I continue this way, there's a bar. It's only one story, I believe, though. And there's a little shopping uh, grocery store next to it. And then out that way, there are several houses. I don't believe any of them are two story. And a church. Um... These larger buildings along here might have two stories. I do know there are some two stories along uh, in Riverside, but I don't believe any of these are two stories. That, I believe, is the school. And I believe these buildings right here will be two stories. And we're right at this intersection, so we can check that real quick. So let's uh, close out the map. Head down the towards the school, I guess. Now, I cannot remember. I think the school in Riverside is one story. I might be getting it confused with the school in uh, another neighborhood like March Ridge or Rosewood. Probably Rosewood. Yeah, th actually, this school might be two stories. I do know this school has some nice fences around it. Oh, there's a park ranger's vehicle. All right, I'll deal with you first. And your fingerless gloves. Bike rider. Probably a... Oh no, was that guy just out for exercise or do you think he was a courier? He didn't have a bag. Alright, check and see if we can get some keys in this vehicle. No. There might be keys to it in this house, though. So that might, be, might make this house worth checking. Uh, I don't want to check it right now, though. I want to continue on and see if I can find some two stories. That does look like it's going to be a two story. Uh, maybe. No, I think that's just a one story, but a larger building. Got quite a few zombies along the road here. I'm starting to get extremely hungry, so I think I need to eat that yogurt after this fight. Now, one of the great things about the larger houses is they'll tend to have washers and dryers. Alright, let's eat that yogurt. It should be under food near the top. There we go. Go ahead. Crawl over the fence like an idiot. Makes it easier for me to kill you. All right. 
Yeah, if we continue along this road, we'll get to the school. And that's some more zombies I can clean out along the way. A couple of them have backpacks. They were traveling. Or just gearing up because of the uh, apocalypse. Now, the only real difference between this combat strategy when dealing with fast shamblers, which are the default in apocalypse mode, is that you have to do a little bit more kiting backwards. Um, the the uh, regular shamblers that I prefer on sandbox when I'm doing uh, supernatural zombies, they you don't have to kite as much because it takes a while for them to get close to you. Oh, that was that was bad. Get back. Get back, crowbar. I said to get back. Now I'm exerted. You got green hair. I need to find a place to rest. So let's hop into this house and see about getting our stamina back and drying off a bit. Alright, stamina's back. I need a cigarette. Looks like I've dried off. Alright, now we can push a little farther down this road. There's a couple down there in that backyard. A couple in the front yard over here. Still not seeing any two stories, but we're up at the school now. I do like the fences around the school. It kind of limits directions, things can come in. There's a lot of glass at the school, unfortunately. Um, but there is like a hardware store right up here on the left, up through the, uh, up that path. And the school is a two-story. Great. So, yeah, I think the school might make a good base here. There's going to be a lot of zombies around to clean out, though. It's, ooh, there's a fire um, vehicle. Fire Marshal's truck. Yeah, this area is completely fenced in. So, uh, if I secure the school, I have a completely fenced in area to do like farming and stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's at least one. Now, there's a good chance they're going to beat down those doors before I get to them. Unless I were to climb the fence to get their attention. Front. I'd like to find a door before I break a window. But yeah, if we go up that path, we'll come to a hardware store. Another good source of weaponry. And a possible location to find a sledgehammer. And the school is a great place for disassembling things to practice carpentry. All right. closet. Or, no, this is the teacher's lounge. Come on, mouse. Sounds like there are. But they might be in the bathrooms. one more in this bathroom. It's an officer. Doesn't look like he has a gun or a weapon of any kind. But he does have a house key and a double holster. Were you alone? You were alone. All right, so we got the teacher's lounge cleared out. This is a good spot to sleep because that counts as an average bed. Utility room might have some tools. Nope, it does have a mouse trap, which is a very good way to uh, increase your trapping skill because it works in urban areas for one. And secondly, it has a, a good chance of uh, actually catching something. Now there's a lot of perishable food that can be found in the lockers here. Lunch boxes uh, will occasionally ha have um, apples and bananas in them. Alright, bathroom's clear. I believe I got my glasses knocked off. I did. I believe that banging I'm hearing is coming from the cafeteria. I believe it's that door right there. One of those two. Yeah, it's shaking. No. 
All right, let's make sure the cafeteria is clear. I know there's at least one over here. Oh, oh, what? what? Mouse cursor was too far over. All right, we've got a small crowd in the uh, cafeteria. And I'm pretty sure that guy's faking it. Nope, it's an actual corpse. wonder if I can get this one too. No, because I've got to path around this way. Oh wait, you turned. Sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> the one that was at the window appears to have moved on instead of beating on the window. That's good. Now, there's going to be a lot of food here, probably. Yeah, pizza, hot dogs, fries. These used to be primarily vegetables, but it looks like they've changed them to actual lunch foods. Sounds I'm hearing are coming from elsewhere. But let's preserve as much of this as we can. fresh food. Right, let's equip a duffel bag secondary. It has more right weight reduction than the sack I was using previously. And collect any food in these areas. Check the ovens. There's sometimes food in the oven. All right, so we are going to load up all of this perishable food. And stick it in a freezer. Gives us a pretty good supply. We're breaking our back, but that's fine. I want to do this in as few trips as possible. Being able to get it done in one trip would be great. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh, it did. There was only... Yeah, those fried chicken are very light. Alright. Transfer all. And it should all fit in here. Stash our duffel. Starting to get sleepy. That's not good. Alright, I must be hearing them outside. I will check the, dr the changing rooms for the gym. And I actually need to push on and check all the way to the next door. 
because sometimes they can be crowded up around the door. They're not. All right, we'll check the other changing room before we actually venture into the gym. Actually, before we check the other changing room, we'll go ahead and check the nurse's station. I might find some beta blockers. No. I found lots of actual medical supplies, but no actual medication. Now, it does sound like there's going to be some in here. Maybe I'm hearing them upstairs. All right. We will come into the gym from a different direction. Let's go ahead and clear the library while we're passing by it. library looks clear. Lots of bookshelves since I like sorting books. See, I could actually put like beginners down here, then intermediate, advanced, all the way up. You know, well, actually I only need like one shelf for each category. So there are like, so I really don't need these shelves right here. Uh, unlike in Hydrocraft, there aren't a lot of variety of books. All right, library is clear. So yeah, I just need like five shelves for that and then a couple miscellaneous shelves for things like magazines, newspapers, the like. Getting exerted. So we're going to hide in this classroom and rest. To get my exertion back. Now I had found some vitamins earlier. Now I'm wishing I picked them up. gathering in the gym. There's at least two and probably more. Jim. Turning the gym into a little bit of bloodbath. Swinging too early, too. Hockey sticks, baseball bats. Ooh, hockey mask. I saw a hockey mask. Hockey helmet. Let's wear that.
yeah, the zombies I'm still hearing are either upstairs or um, outside. So let's go ahead and risk going upstairs. Nothing was immediately next to me. Good. Sounds like there's some in classrooms. dangerous because I didn't bother to check to see if the hallway behind me was clear before I started kiting this way. again. I'm panicked. Uh, they broke some downstairs doors. I think I've got time for a cigarette before one gets to me. This way is clear unless they've broken one of the classroom doors up there. Because I know those areas are clear. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure these classrooms are clear. You've got two. Some in a nearby classroom heard the combat and are starting to break out. Got you before you could lunge. two up against that door, so we're going to do the trick where we open it from a distance and back off. Now I've got to worry about the ones from upstairs sneaking down behind me on the stair. Will you hit that one? Thank you. Now I've got to worry about those doors, but first I need to make sure this classroom is clear. It is not. There's still one in there, but 
I don't think saving these doors is going to uh, alert that one. this one in this classroom and get our stamina back. She's facing us, so no sneaking up on her at this point. There's quite a few in this fenced-in area I'm going to need to clear out. hearing snarling. It must be just outside that door. Or upstairs. Yeah, it's probably that guy. Alright, some are starting to come down from the stairs. Good. they break that door? No. Okay. So these are ones that were upstairs that came down. But rather than go up there now, well first I, I need to make sure none wandered in here. Need to keep doors closed. So that the zombies I'm hunting for don't uh, wander into areas that should be clear. So I need to get the cafeteria door shut. Clear these last few up here. That classroom. Um, yeah, clear that classroom and these offices before I head upstairs. And I want to head upstairs from this direction because they shouldn't have been drawn this way. Oh, I did clear that classroom. It connects from the other side. All right. Uh, well, actually, I'm not going to worry about the offices in. They can't. Ones in the offices can't get to me very easily this way. There we go. Now I can check and see how many of them are in the hallway here. Quite a few. Alright, they're working on another door. Keep turning to face him, moron. There we go. You should be about dead, woman. Some beating on this door. into a corner. This is not good. I need to get them down.
think that was the only three that came out. I'm getting hungry again. There might be more in this classroom. There are. again. That's mainly because I am over encumbered, hungry, and tired. Um, I can deal with the hunger in just a second. Let's see. All I need to do is find a lunchbox in one of these. There we go. Let's eat a quarter of that. I'm losing weight still. Peanut butter is pretty high in protein, so it runs the risk of uh, causing me to go overweight eating peanut butter sandwiches, but I'm already overweight. Um, of course, I'm also being quite physical right now. positive that way is clear. I want to check those rooms. But I want to deal with the one that is coming toward me first. It is possible a few more have still wandered downstairs. Check this room. Clear. This room. Clear. Alright. We'll go ahead and rest to get our stamina back. Let's check the... This hallway doesn't go much farther, so let's check along this hallway, see if they've broken any doors down, or if there's any in the hallway. And there are ones in the hallway. That, all, that door also appears to have been compromised. bad when I can't hit one person who probably only took one more hit while she was down to drop. Yep. Off of me. This school's becoming a bloodbath fairly quickly. Still one in the hall that we need to deal with. And I just switched weapons just as you aggroed on me. This room appears clear. key while I'm trying to open the door and make a noise on it. Back away. 
You're almost dead. Should be one more hit to get him. Yeah, he had transformed into a crawler. Stay down. Really getting exerted here. Let's check this room since the door seems to be compromised. Alright, all of them are out of here. That just leaves three rooms to check. Um, four. Four rooms to check. This one that we opened the door to. And yes, it still has some in it. I got three as my count. I, I don't know if that's all of them. I wanted to make sure I got the one who was downed. I'm getting really exerted now. But we're almost done with our sweep of the school. There's one more in there and I think she was headed toward the door. Yeah. Yeah, just the one left. Go ahead and crack, grab a quick rest. Grab a smoke. And check the last room in this hall. Which is thankfully vacant. It has access to the roof as well. All right. And we have two bathrooms to check, and we are done, uh, and this one room across from it, which I think is going to be empty of them. I'll check it first. It's got a window, actually. Yeah, it's clear. We'll check these two bathrooms. Now, there is a lot of opportunity for zombies to spawn in these stalls. Generally, the first time they hear noise, they'll start beating on the stall doors and break out. But I think both these bathrooms are going to end up being clear. Which will just leave the admin offices downstairs. And the school is clear, apart from the yard. Alright. School is upstairs is clear. So let's go ahead and head downstairs and clean out the admin offices. It's getting pretty late, so I'm not going to be cleaning the outstairs tonight. I do need to get this hall light on, though. That is another thing that will attract a zombie to a structure is light. If you leave the lights on and they can see that the lights are on, zombies can come and beat on your base. That is one thing that I have a bad habit of doing, is leaving all the lights on at my base. That's all the side rooms, apart from these two offices, which I believe are both empty because I could see through the windows. But it doesn't hurt to actually pop in and take a look. Alright. School is now clear, currently. Um, apart from, like I said, the ones out in the yard. But it's too late for me to deal with them tonight. So I'm going to head back up, uh, no, I'm going to head into the uh, teacher's lounge and grab a nap. And we'll call this an episode, so thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.